Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang. So in the following guided meditation we will be using a variety of techniques to awaken your inner genius and connect it with you. Um, but first, um, some of my own mental dribble, uh, what I may say, my personal perspective on the topic of genius. Well, according to Google, a genius is a person who is exceptionally intelligent or creative, either generally or in some particular respect. Now, um, you know, the word creative you know, um, is kind of the most insignificant. Um, you know, it means out of the box thinking, you know, the unexpected. You know, especially in the music, you know, the unexpected is always that what turns you on the music. Um, you know, and uh, it would not, if it would not be, you know, creative, um, it would be productive, you know, churning out a lot of stuff. But that's not necessarily creative, you know, it's always the novelty, the unexpected, you know, that is part of creativity, not productivity. So, in my life, you know, I have been around a few people that I consider to be of genius level intelligence. And it's not necessarily the tightly focused and energized third eye that impressed me. You know, I mean, I have been around some scientists that had a super strong focus in the third eye, and it was a little painful there for me. Um, like a pre-headache kind of a pressure. That is equivalent, you know, of having a mind like a steel trap. And uh, that helps, you know, definitely in any scholarly pursuit, but does not count as genius, you know, in my mind. You know, although, I mean, of course, the third eye is very essential for inner vision. You know, it's the crown chakra. You know, the fact that it was open at some times, or open for longer times, that are attributed, you know, the exceptional gifts that these people had to, you know. So, the epitome you know, of a genius to me is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, mm -hmm, uh, who reported that he had whole compositions downloaded, and that these compositions were so perfect that not one node could be changed. <laughs> you know? And now also uh, understand um, that Mozart was extremely qualified on the physical level. Um, his father was a professional conductor, and just like Michael Jackson as a performer, Mozart was vigorously trained, in, but he also enjoyed you know, the musical arts, um, like composition, piano, and violin. I mean, he was a child prodigy, you know, that was shown off to European royalty as a virtuoso at the early age of five years on. You know, that reminds me of the American Got Talent show and, you know, childhood lost. Uh, but, you know, of course, he had the skills to understand and manifest, you know, the music compositions that were downloaded into the so, in New Age terms, you know, Mozart was channeling his music from a place of, let's say, higher knowing. You know, he didn't piece it together, like through mathematics and thirds and fifths and so on. You know? uh, so, it was, you know, with these few geniuses, you know, that I met in this life. So, once I got a hangout, you know, a day with one genius programmer. So he had this crown chakra open for at least eight hours. I think it was more. And, you know, all the time I was with him, he acted like a saint, too. You know, that is, you know, when the crown chakra is open, um, you know, you um, automatically <laughs> start acting like a saint, you know, or like a complete space cadet. It depends. Um, another scientist engineer, you know, that built communication satellites, you know, got his inventions during those longer sessions in the restroom. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, you know, for some people, the crown chakra, you know, opens when they let go. And so, from a yogic point of view, you know, the brain and the spine, they are an antenna and a receiver. You know, let us say cr crudely here, you know, and um, for vibes, you could say, and thought forms, and which you may visualize, you know, as astral or subtle electromagnetic energy clouds, you know, floating around. So once you optimize, you know, these transmitter system, again, spine and brain, um, you know, um, then, you know, you are more open to the genius. And um, please invest some time and effort in, in educating yourself about pineal gland calcification, you know, and the effect of fluoride on it. And then do something about it. You know? The pineal gland is also called the third eye. And is considered crucial, you know, for the inner vision in so many traditions. You know, so let's talk about shortly, you know, for some of these approaches. So Hatha Yoga, you know, you would benefit from stress relief from the body. And Hatha Yoga also tweaks the spine, you know, um, through which, yeah, you become uh, more effective and, you know, efficient as, you know, a receiver and sender. Um, also, um, you're not changing brain frequency. It's very essential. Um, and there are like brain enhancement uh, techniques like binaural beats, you know, and other things where your brain is pulsed. And uh, then there is, of course, like Qigong style breathwork, you know, where you learn how to push life force into different areas of your body and then of course you know if you're smart you soup up your third eye and now in kundalini yoga breathwork you know we also have a um, spinal movement um like <coughs> you know um, together you know with a uh, heavy uh, breathing um and in that way you know you get an even stronger effect um, but then there's also other things like, for instance, a tribal dance, where, you know, there's a lot of stomping, you know, onto the ground, um, which kind of grounds you. And then, of course, the energy, once you're grounded, you know, shoots up into the crown and, you know, again, energizes your third eye into your crown chakra. And, you know, the same also you find like in Bharat Natyam temple dance, you know, where they you know, put their feet on the ground like this and stay in a right kind of a sumo stance, <laughs> sumo squat stand. You know, this also um, requires, you know, not only strength, but also it grounds you like anything. And then you have, you know, hand movement. You know, when there's chi coming out of your hand and in flamenco, you are, you know, um, purifying, you know, your crown chakra, you know, to go into this you know this is uh, one other technique to get into other states or in dancing you know where you um, use your hand movements you know to purify and uplift you know yourself <laughs> and uh, basically fluffing you know your chakras and um, then of course there is <coughs> um, of course active uh, meditation you know, uh, active, I'm saying, you know, where you train your visualization skills. You know, like anything, uh, visualization is like a muscle or, you know, it's something that can be trained and gets better over time. And <laughs> then we have uh, plant medicines or mothers that will help us, like Ayahasya and you know, these are maybe a lazy way to get insights into other worlds that lay behind the curtain of our everyday perception. And that's why also quite popular. And they have to be treated with respect, you know, just like a credit card. If you give it to the wrong people or abuse it, you know, payback is a bitch.
Another um, aspect that enhances genius, it seems, are chemicals. You know, look at the beetles that changed after LSD and how psychedelics you know, changed the whole generation. I mean, the hippies huh? completely changed their outlook of life. Mm -hmm. Overcoming, I mean, millennia of negative programming, embracing peace and love, and of course, they got crushed and, you know, subverted by the Vietnam draft, you know, three-letter organization um, that imported hard drugs from the third world theater, you know, to fund, like, budget operation. And then, of course, also the criminalization of mind-expanding drugs. Mm -hmm. But thinking this much out of the box, you know, I consider genius. And didn't Steve Jobs also drop acid too? I'm not saying that everybody that drops acid, you know, becomes a genius. <laughs> and, you know, I don't advise to drop acid. Um, you know, definitely uh, not. Um, uh, but uh, I think, you know, it has a great, you know, function in mind expansions. And, of course, also traditionally there were rituals where chi was accumulated, you know, in various ways, you know, crossing ley lines, you know, where temples were made, you know, this um, divine architecture, pyramids, you know, these were all places where you got in touch, you know, with other dimensional beings, you know, there were higher intelligences, you know, um, for existence, for assistance. Mm -hmm. And a really practical example, you know, of tapping into higher intelligence and genius, you know, is the Tudor Society. Or, yeah, I'm not sure whether that was a real society, where ladies channel, you know, how to build uh, flying saucers. And you should also know that the program got hijacked by the Nazis. You know, that wasn't initially a Nazi program at all. So, you can access, you know, higher knowledge through vision and also through direct experiences, you know, or other ways of, you know, knowing. And, of course, um, vision questing has, or was part of many um, coming-of-age ceremonies, you know. Um, well, folks, uh, that is how you meet, you know, your inner genius, you know, that um, can look outside the box and connect you with realms and thought forms that you never saw before. So in the following guided meditation, I will guide you through some of these steps. And it is up to you, you know, to follow my instructions, you know, diligently, you know, if you want good results. You know, I, I use this method you know, to open up to these higher dimensional aspects of our self that I referred to as high self. You know, the high self is, well, your soul is super huge, super large. Mm -hmm. The higher you go, <laughs> the larger it gets. You are just a tiny expansion, and your high self, you know, is your aspect on different levels of your soul. You know, some of them are, you know, polarity, in polarity, like male or female. Some of them are androgynous. You know, some of them have complete light bodies, the way they to show themselves. Um, but this is kind of your genius. <laughs> you in the space beyond space and time. Um, uh, of course, you know, in a personal session, you know, with the client through Skype, I can monitor, you know, your chakras, you know, your chi level and your smile. And coach you accordingly you know i'm just like your biofeedback machine and you you know get good results most of the time but here you know you're on your own <laughs> you know without me lording over you you know so you have to give you know your best to get good results and so but also opening you know these channels you know for the fullest those genius channels you know you need some cleansing so let's just go over it so in the meditation you know you don't go on the mental plane and trying to figure out what i'm saying uh, <laughs> so there's probably a lot of trauma 
you know, around being a genius. You know, if you were one in past lifetimes, those traumas in, in Sanskrit are called samskaras. And um, any time, pretty much, you know, when you, uh, uh, yeah, you know, died as a genius, uh, you know, a violent death or traumatic death, you know, you probably kind of stuck on the astral plane. And some of these um, geniuses were also trapped, you know, through um, black magic, <laughs> you know, to harvest their intelligence. There are ways this can be done. Mm -hmm. And also some aspects are just completely fried. You know, frying is the word. <laughs> you know, this would be scientists who were forced, you know, or got tricked, you know, to do, you know, to work for the dark side. Yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, this happens probably quite a lot. There's departmentalization deep going on, and, you know, suddenly you find out as a chemist, you know, that you were, you know, um, involved in developing weapons of mass destruction, or because of your invention, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, that was the... Was the um, Nobel, you know, with dynamite, he wanted to make, you know, mining safer, and, well, he created a weapon of war somehow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so some of these uh, aspects may say, hey, no more genius stuff, this is too dangerous, you know, and they don't vow not to bring any more new stuff. You know, or some, they got persecuted, you know, uh, by the establishment, well, Copernicus, you know. <laughs> was one of the, you know, and you know, of course the also bad karma, you know, may have resulted, again, dynamite, mm -hmm. and also, of course, when you are a genius you know, and are outstanding, you know, you have a lot of enemies, you know, jealous people. Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, don't like that things come easy to you, and so um, you get cursed or backstabbed, Mm -hmm. whenever you are somehow, you know, um, you know of excellence. Um, so, you know, these aspects, <laughs> and, you know, whether it's curses or whatever was done, has to be reversed. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, of course, there are also enemies that want to keep us down in every aspect. You know, and that may really take some work, you know, because there are lots and lots and lots. You know, if you had a thousand lifetimes, Maybe even if you had one enemy in each lifetime, one arch enemy that stays back to harass you. You know, that is a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, ghost clearing is a thing that, you know, is something <laughs> it may take a long time. Mm -hmm. But you get really good at it, and later on you can do batch processing. So, um, you know, and uh, there are ghosts that are stuck to, to our genius inventions and need help. They're also there, and maybe any of them, you know, they want revenge. So when your tech that you developed, you know, was used for warfare, let's say in Atlantean times, sometimes whole races got wiped out, you know, and I, I've, um, you know, I've had this happening, you know, several times. You know, with people that were scientists in, uh, in, in, in those times, and you know, they were they were very unhappy. <laughs> so these enemy ghosts that you know that took the brunt of your inventions, you know, they are a big influence in your life. And um, you know, then of course they are also you know sabotaging black magic implants, you know, to disconnect us from our high self, you know. And so many instances, you know, when you were a really good seer, you know, or musician, you know, or genius, and uh, you know, uh, where at court there were of course people that um, didn't like the king or that wanted to have your position, and you know, dirty tricks were being used. Mm -hmm. and um, to uh, make you useless. I've seen it in quite a lot of past life regressions where seers got sabotaged by other seers. And uh, they could even be just on a level where, uh, you know, a guru that you adore says, you know, you will never surpass me. 
Mm-hmm. And actually, the way I was taught to the guru, yeah, you should never think of surpassing your guru. <laughs> No, um, that's a good etiquette. Well, I know you should, you know, keep your ego in check, you know. But you know, your mission is more important than loyalty to a guru. Your loyalty is to source. Anyhow, so then there, are of course, also sabotaging, you know, technical implants, you know, that disconnect us from our high self. Um, you know, and um, besides technical implants, there's also, of course, DNA modic vacation you know to sabotage and disconnect us too and you know both are being used by you know dark fraction of races like Anunnaki, Alpha Darkonians, the Greys and other minions you know of the dark AI mm-hmm. that want to turn humanity into a slave race mm-hmm. tracked everywhere and so on so, um, for the meditation, um, just sit comfortable in an office chair and balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. It's very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you're slumping. And some of you can go deeper laying down, which has, of course, the danger of falling asleep. Um, but I mean, you know, you're asleep and doing a falling asleep is better than not doing it at all. So place your hands gently over your heart and solar plexus or hold the crystal in your hands. You know, these are all really good. Personally, I prefer the Sufi grind or I move my spine around and so stay more alert. And um, some of you uh, You know, may not want to go completely under and use a pendulum to clear their trauma very systematically. I also advise you to use earbuds or headphones to cancel out any outside distractions. Some of you seem to be not be able to hearing my voice, you know, when I um, doing the cymbal sound. Um, You know, you probably need some headphones or better speakers. But of course, I like to accommodate you. And uh, for sure, do not operate, you know, heavy machinery or drive a car. You know, this is designed to space you out. And uh, please pay attention to what pops into your mind, even if it does not make sense at the moment. You know, but do not judge or try to rationalize. You can always do this at the end of the meditation. And so smile, and we asked Absolute Source to make sure that there are no imposters, you know, that present themselves as God, you know, like Anunnaki or other intermediate beings, you know. We ask that they not be allowed. Amen. And make sure you, you know, think Amen. And we ask our Higher Self, our inner child, our spirit guides from love and light, our star tribes that also are coming from unconditional love, you know, um, the higher dimensions, you know, coming from unconditional love that are supporting human ascension, and of course also Gaia on her third, fifth and sixth dimensional aspects, and of course Milky Way Galaxy to make sure that everything you know, comes you know, that comes from this meditation turns out for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Make sure you agree with this, not your head, think Amen. And now smile like an idiot and no deep breathing. You want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils. Imagine that you have, you know, roots into your earth. And you pull Mother Earth's love through those roots, you know, over your heart to the top of the head. You know, and then as you exhale, let it spill down over and through your shoulders, you know, over your heart, you know, through your arms, hands, legs, and then deep into the earth. So just bring it in. 
and smile and let it flow over you. Deep into the earth. And we let go, of course, of those things that we do not need anymore. Mother Gaia can compost these for you. Smile, and again you want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils as you are breathing. Mm -hmm. And we ask that our body please be cleansed with those waves of love and chi flowing over and through it, you know, on the gross body as well as the subtle bodies on the astral and other realms. Uh -huh. And we also ask souls and representations of thoughts like Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified like Lord Shiva or those of the Hindu transitional tradition to please remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Alpha Dacunian, Great or other predatory cords, frequency screens and other hostile devices from every level of our being now for our highest good in divine harmony with the most mundane outcomes and degree. Uh -huh. And you should start feeling the energy shift kind of about now, you know, maybe an, ele an elevator feeling. Keep on breathing and now imagine that there is a huge laser the size of your head connecting you with the center of Milky Way galaxy above your head and the center of the earth below you. And on the inhale just feel your energy flowing all the way up from Earth to Milky Way Galaxy and on the exhale, you know, send it all the way down. And of course, smile. And we ask that any resistances, parasites, interferences on this axis please be cleared. Uh -huh. And this should be kicking in now. Enjoy it. And now start pulling the energy from Milky Way Galaxy on the inhale all the way down into your toes and heels just like liquid light that dissolves any blocks or blobs or clouds of darkness in and around you. And on the exhale you send your energy as high and wide as you can off the top of the head. So there is a pulling in from above the head all the way to your heels and toes and then you push your energy out again. So you're scrubbing you know your whole force field here. And the results are starting to click in now. Of course, you can do all these things, you know, separately, you know, for five minutes or as long as you want. And now, um, let's imagine that we concentrate on the inhale, this love and light that's coming from Milky Way Galaxy, into our pineal gland. So that's just between, you know, your eyebrows and your ears, you know, in the center of your head. Smile, mm -hmm. and just, you know, some of you, they feel more than they see, just feel the energy, you know, from the heavens, just you know, coming and concentrating in the center of your head. And smile. 
smile. So you should feel lighter around the head. And now we draw this liquid love and light even deeper into our heart. And we ask it to please dissolve any pain and darkness that we can detect and so smile like an idiot so that you get the love and start pulling in this liquid light into your heart and dissolve any pain that you feel around there with this love light. Deep breathing. Mm. And from now on, you know, we speak for our own incarnational selves as well as for our past and parallel incarnations, as well as for our ancestors and if possible also for our loved ones that we want to benefit. And if you can, also on behalf of humanity. Amen. And this counts for this guided meditation, of course. <coughs> And also in this meditation, we will request a healing and liberation for all of our own person incarnational history, you know, which will benefit ourselves and then also all the discarnate, traumatized humans that are still stuck because we were geniuses or we got hurt by geniuses. Mm -hmm. And we are also asked the same for our ancestors that we can speak for. Amen. And now smile and we ask our own divine intelligence to give us a yes. And for most people um, this would be a flow up from the heart to the head, like a nice feeling like this. And um, one more time, if you didn't get this, we asked our spirit guides to make this even stronger. Please give us a super strong yes now. Um, thank you. And a no would be a flow of energy from the heart towards the feet, kind of like a downer, like this. And we ask our high self to please give us a nice, clean, strong no now. Amen. And if this wasn't strong enough, please give us an even stronger no now. Amen. And first of all, let's ask, is there damage to our brain and to our spine and tenor? Yes or no? And if our brain could be operating on 100% of capacity without too much fanaticism, at which type of capacity does our brain run now? Um, So you will get a percentage. And that's same for the spine. So if our spine could be running on a hundred percent capacity without too much fanaticism, at which capacity is our spine running now? Um, And in how many lifetimes did we endure a brain injury or spinal injury that is still affecting our genius performance? Please tell us now. Amen.
and uh, sometimes also in this lifetimes we may have had car accidents you know or falling off the stair or of a horse so were there any incidents you know will your brain or spine get injured as an antenna yes or no So whenever we have a traumatic lifetime and uh, most likely the uh, ghost, you know, when they leave their body, your etheric body, you know, is in such a low vibration that they cannot go into the higher vibration. So they get kind of trapped or stuck on the astral plane as discarnates or so-called ghosts. We all heard about it. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you know, and some of those aspects might have been geniuses for some reason. So how many genius aspects of you are trapped as ghosts? Mm -hmm. And so let's just find out how many of those genius ghosts were traumatized you know because maybe they were forced or got tricked to work for the dark side so how many got tricked and are traumatized and how many aspects in past lifetime did vows not to bring new you know inventions into the world you know because they got abused And how many of your genius inventors or free thinkers got persecuted like it happened to Copernicus? And how many of your genius invention and past lifetimes resulted in, you know, bad uh, karma? You know, unintentionally, like the invention of dynamite you know, um, by Mr. Noble, you know, which was meant to make mining safer, you know, was misused for war. So, um, you know, how many lifetimes were your invention abused against your free will? And right now we ask that any ghost and discarnates, you know, that are stuck for all those issues that we mentioned before, be brought to the Arcturian Love Healing and Ascension Temples right now. Um, make sure you agree to this. And of course, um, you know, when you're a genius and standing out in your field, you know, you have a lot of enemies you know, due to your excellence, and of course you also get cursed, arise, jealousy, and, you know, others, you know, try to trip you up, so we ask those that, you know, um, let's say attacked us out of jealousy, and did unfair means to us, please be brought to the courts of divine justice now. Amen. And let's just ask, you know, how many of those entities, you know, are there that are our enemies due to jealousy? And of course, there are also enemy spirits that want to keep us down in every aspect, you know, um, that they may take, you know, to just keep us down. It doesn't matter whether it's genius or not, and of course those affect you, and uh, there could be lots and lots of those. Mm -hmm. It's not too specific, uh, but how many of those are there?
and in some magical arts, you know, um, things like beauty as well as genius can be stolen. Mm -hmm. And um, did this happen to you? And in how many lifetimes? And there might be a lot of ghosts, you know, if you were a genius <laughs> inventor in past lifetimes, that are stuck due to your genius inventions and need help, you know, or they may want revenge. You know, when our tech was used for warfare, and um, in Atlantean times, for instance, you know, whole races got wiped out like that, you know, subterranean races, etc. Mm -hmm. I've seen this in many lifetimes, you know, for myself and others. Mm -hmm. So, how many um, ghosts are still stuck? And this can be a large amount. This could be in the thousands or hundreds of thousands, to not be amazed. Again, so how many ghosts are still stuck due to your genius inventions? Now, when you are a genius, um, you know, you not only get jealousy and envy from your own people, you know, of course, the enemy side, you know, the uh, other group that you're supposed to be fighting in all times, they also use the magic, you know, and other, you know, let's say, subtle technologies um, to, you know, shut down, you know, the genius of you. And, um, you know, the one way of doing this is to disconnect you from your high self, you know, connection. Mm -hmm. um, by, for instance, putting plates, you know, in your crown chakra or, or other devices. Mm -hmm. So, um, in how many lifetimes um, has there been um, sabotage magic, you know, installed to separate you from your high self? And then there are also, you know, spells and curses, you know, like a guru telling you, you will never surpass me, you know, in the face of eternity, that's very brazen. Mm -hmm. So how many times did something like this happen to you? So these uh, before mentioned things, they come from the power of word and visualization. So they are, let's say, in the realm of magic. But now, in how many lifetimes was sabotage and technology implanted into you, into your etheric body, onto your flesh body, to separate or disconnect you from your high self? And on a higher level, in how many lifetimes we were sabotaging DNA modification installed to disconnect us from our high self? You know, like that faction of races like Anunnaki, Draco, Grey, you know, and other minions of the dark AI, you know, that want to turn humanity into a slave race. How many lifetimes? And do you have pineal gland calcification? Yes or no? And if your pineal gland could be, you know, calcium free at a hundred percent, how much is it calcified now? Is your pineal gland and your crown chakra affected by black magic thought forms, you know, to disconnect you from your divine intelligence, like plates, star caps, rings, reverse crowns, spikes, crown of thorns, glass, muses, clamps, yes or no?
and how many implants do you have kind of ballpark? Are there any dark portals in your pineal gland and skull area? Yes or no? Are there any programs? You know, like whenever she gets a certain brain frequency or consciousness level, then do this to interfere. Do you have any parasite attachments in your um, crown chakra area? Yes or no? Now ask how many entity attachments you have. Like gargoyles, for instance. And are there any, you know, spells that disconnect you from your high self or from your divinity, your inner genius? Like a guru saying, you will never surpass me, yes or no? And if yes, how many? Do you have any sabotaging technical implants to just disconnect you from your high self? Yes or no? And do you have any sabotaging DNA modification to disconnect you from your high self? Like um, dark factions, you know, of races like the Anunnaki, the Alpha Draconian, the Grey, you know, or other minions of the dark artificial intelligence, you know, that want to turn humanity into a slave race. Mm -hmm. Have you have those DNA modification? Yes or no? And now we ask for the presence of expert ascension teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we ask them to please bring any stuck spirits or ghosts that are still stuck through trauma around being a genius or those that have suffered from a genius. To the Arcturian love healing and the ascension temples now. Amen. And as a gesture of goodwill, please reunite them there with other lost loved ones that are also still stuck on the astral planes, like lost baby spirits, sweethearts, etc. Amen. And then please show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of the Incarnation. Amen. That would be what was karma, what was volunteered for, you know, to learn as a lesson. And what was sabotage by the dark side. Amen. Also, please clear any misunderstandings and misdirections, and also clear the deep abandonment pain, going all the way back to the perceived separation from Source. Amen. And smile, and, you know, project Source love. Deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Smile, source love. And then help them with forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Please, your spirit guides. Mm -hmm. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, we ask absolute source to please clear any entanglement 
it still binds them in like vows, spells, contracts, promises, curses, candle magic, sigils, black magic, any forms of bindings, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, karmas, karma transfers, entanglements, cages, pain, glamours, deaths, and everything else that was not mentioned, but needs to leave our space at this time. Especially any tampering with our DNA, our pineal gland, the telepathic channels on the back of our neck and head, and our crown chakra channels. Um, um, um. And we also asked that our ancestors that made it into the real heavens or higher dimensions, you know, please escort them home. Amen. We also asked the highest divine beings, the archangels, source, mm -hmm, and other divine beings, to please clear any artificial manipulation and predatory magic technology energies and entities that are transferring dark energy to us for their own advantage. Amen. And of course, also with your grace and mercy, clear anything else that has not been mentioned, but should be removed at this time. Amen. Also clear any demons and stuck entities that block our optimum genius levels and bring them to where they are supposed to be, you know, like the courts of divine zestus. Amen. And while this is going on, please also remove or neutralize any programmed devices like sigils, runes, talismans, crystals, and other dark technologies that were designed to broadcast darkness or to block light, especially our genius light. Um. And also, dear divine souls and the highest divine spiritual beings, please transmute any physical astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma that is still within me to healing energy and repair meridians and other energy systems on all levels of our being, like chakras, nadis, etc. You know, they all that you know, affect the optimal genius levels. So especially the pineal gland and our crown chakra get enhanced. Um, while this is going on, also clear any backup programming that is still left and was not addressed. Amen. Now upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible now to our optimal genius levels. Amen. And then also optimize, harmonize and strengthen our aura, our magnetic field to optimal genius levels. Amen. And we command in the name of Absolute Source to liberate and return any stolen or captured parts of our souls, our energy, our mind, to reach optimal genius levels now. Amen.
And now we invite divine beings like Goddess Saraswati that have the upliftment of humanity at heart to please help us connect with our own divine intelligence in a way that is helpful in our divine mission in this life. This would be our Dharma. Amen. And we call on the teams of the highest divine light, our own soul, all helpers, guides, angels, archangels, star races, star councils, galactic councils. And you ask in the name of our creator aspect, as a human being and on the behalf of Gaia, you know, to please clear any other blockages that are there with us, our loved ones, our ancestors, and you know, other spirits that block on one genius lab. Um, um, um. And smile, smile, smile. And it should be kicking in now. Mm -hmm. And you probably feel this upliftment above your head. Mm -hmm. Just go with it. And now we ask the angels, you know, to please help us integrate this. This may take some time. Mm -hmm. And for those that are supposed to keep on sleeping, let them sleep now and process and integrate everything in their sleep. And for those that are supposed to wake up, we ask that they be grounded. Uh, anything dark that's still with them, please be removed. Mm -hmm. that the force build be repaired as much as possible mm -hmm. that as much of their life force and soul fragments be returned to them now Amen. and then also please update them to the latest divine blueprint Amen. 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 And then be our energies in after optimizing the energy levels so the dark horses cannot manipulate or steal our energies. Amen. 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 And one, two, three, you're fully grounded now, full of energy and back and vacant day consciousness. We'll come back to this reality. And I thank you very much for supporting me by giving me thumbs up, leaving comments, or subscribing. And, um, of course, this is a complicated shotgun meditation, and will probably not ascend all your goals and traumas, you know, but, um, you know, this is a help. And, um, you know, these guided meditations have to be used kind of like pills and teas, you know, maybe once a week, or every two weeks, you know, one of these here. <clears throat> of course, many issues have to be looked up in greater detail before they can be released. You know, that is when a personal lesson, you know, or insight is needed before the trauma itself can be transmuted. You may have to go into past life and so on. And so that's where I come in. You know, it's worthwhile um, coming to me for a private session. You know, you wouldn't take a part your transmission by yourself either though you probably can find a you know video on it on youtube you know same way um if it's complicated you know and you can't do it by yourself you know come to me my prices are very reasonable the information is there drink a lot of water you're going to be um, detoxing like anything if you get a headache or well, you should be drinking more water and keep on smiling. I love you. Namaste.